a power outage in Germany. The phasing out of nuclear power and the end of coal mining and dependence on energy imports are the lights about to go out in Germany? In case of a blackout, Germany's Federal Agency for Technical Relief is responsible for supplying power. However, it can only supply a few households with emergency generators. The rest will sit in the dark. Scientists at the University of Kassel are researching whether it's possible to supply electricity in Germany without nuclear power and coal. In a large-scale test, they want to supply electricity just using renewable energy sources. We want to link wind, solar energy and biomass power plants. Together, they'll be able to meet today's power needs. However, if factories and households require more electricity, renewable energies must supply more kilowatt hours of electricity within just a few seconds. If less electricity is needed, they must cut their output immediately, or the grid will collapse. However, the wind and sun can't be influenced. Together with three companies, Solar World, Schmack Biogas, and Enercon from the renewable energy sector, the University of Kassel is developing solutions for emergency situations. They've linked together several solar, wind energy, and biomass plants, as well as a hydropower plant to form a large power station. This combined power plant is controlled from their operational nerve center. They supply a specific amount of required energy in Germany. The pilot project intends to show that renewable energies can supply sufficient electricity to the grid around the clock and regardless of the weather conditions. The red curve shows part of the electricity that is required in Germany at this moment in time. Green shows the biogas currently being produced, yellow the solar power and blue the wind energy. If the scientists succeed in precisely tracking the curve of all the parts in the experiment, it means that renewable energy sources could completely cover the supply of electricity needed in Germany. For this test, three wind farms, two biogas plants, and several solar power installations are feeding their electricity into the grid. If a cloud drifts between the sun and solar cells in southern Germany, it's quite possible that a stiff breeze is blowing the windmill in northern Germany. And if the storm turns into a gentle breeze, it's quite possible that the sun is shining again in Saxony. As is the case with this installation near Freiberg, the pilot project proves that by combining different renewable energy sources, it's already possible to feed a large part of the required electricity into the grid. However, there are moments when not sufficient power is provided by either the wind or the sun. Then the combined power plant makes greater use of the solar energy stored in plants. In Pleining near Bavaria, finely chopped maize is converted into methane gas in special reactors. Just like natural gas, this biogas can be stored for an unlimited period of time. The scientists always keep an eye on the electricity needs in the grid. If the wind or sun are not producing enough electricity at any given time, a mouse click is all that is needed, and a few kilometers away, the biogas flows into this turbine. Just a few seconds later, the plant is producing the exact amount of additional electricity that's required at that time. However, too much electricity in the grid can also lead to problems. With severe winds, turbines sometimes produce more electricity than is needed. 
Therefore, the scientists store the wind power. The extra produced energy is now used to power pumps that transport water up a mountain. If electricity is again required in the grid, the water flows back down to the valley. A generator converts it into electricity that is fed into the grid. Such plants can store the wind energy for several hours or even days. After several months, the pilot project has proved one thing clearly. By using renewable energies linked together in the combined power plant, it will be possible to meet Germany's electricity needs around the clock, regardless of weather conditions. If renewables continue to grow as they have done in the past, they'll provide around 40% of Germany's electricity needs by 2020. We could therefore achieve 100% by the middle of the century. The combination of wind, sun and biogas can secure Germany's future power needs. The combined power plant is the first step on the way to achieving 100% power from renewable energies. In other words, despite the phasing out of nuclear power and coal mining, there's no need for the lights to go out in Germany.